taken a chain link fence down and we're going to put a wooden fence in its place. So here's Roland with the magic post. <coughs> There we go. We just make up a post that are one by six, cut down to three and a half, and the inch and three quarters, and we stick it over top of the steel post, and then it never, never uh, rots. Or if it does, it doesn't rot in the con in the ground. It just rots a little bit on the on the face of things. But we're going to lift it up a little bit so it doesn't rot. So that's how to make a chain link fence and turn it into a um, wooden fence without re reposting everything. What do you think Roland? Nice. <laughs> Make a fence from a post. Make a fence from a post. <laughs> <laughs> so this is about the halfway point on the fence and what I'm going to show you is how how I fasten this. Uh, what I do is set one board at each end and I tack that in and level level it in at the bottom and this end too well, you'll see the height difference here so then after I got one board set at each end this runs downhill a bit so that's why the height difference then I level in the top board with the spirit level and I bring all the rest up so that they have that three quarter inch gap and I can set my lattice into that uh, it's just a very good fence to build because you can stay with the bottom grade pretty easily and still stay level on the top. Not like uh, um, not like those kind of fences that are just made with sections. It uh, can stay level on the top, look nice and neat, and you could still have your bottom closed so that you know animals can't go under it. Blah blah, that sort of thing. So you'll see I have these just sitting in here spacing and when I'm done with this section I'll put one section in each of these. I'll, sh I'll show you that in a bit. So I'll show you how I set these posts. Uh, the post is I put, put these bottom pieces in first like you'll see here just to spread it and then I, I uh, attach one post to each end here. This is the high end. The bottom sort of slopes over this way, so I attach one at each end, one post, or one picket, and then I take the level, and I make the spreader across the top of this, which is just a one by six cedar, and I set it for three quarters at that end, because I have a lattice that I want to sit in there, and at this end I just go level, and whatever it ends up to be, that's fine, because I have lots of play in that. And when I put my pickets on, then I carry them down at three quarters, and then that end one just drops off, and it's whatever it wants to be. Uh, that's a, just an interesting way of building that fence, so that the tops all look nicely stepped up in a proper level fashion, and the bottoms close the gap. It doesn't matter where that bottom one ends up, because it's right at grade level and you want it to stop little animals or plants from creeping under so it can it doesn't have to be level in this design then afterwards of course I'll put my lattice in and I'll put another facing piece on the front and I'll show you that so here's the finished fence we put uh, these little tiny caps on here that hold the, uh, they help to hold the post together I guess a little bit uh, because they drop down over the top of it and that's the fence very nice